Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to the Data on Kubernetes Day at KubeCon North America. We are super excited to be here. Um, this is our first uh, co-located event with the CNCF uh, being in this space. We had an event last year on our own. We're very excited to be doing this. Thank you to the CNCF events team for helping us put this together. We're excited about this um, lineup we have for you. My name is Melissa Logan. I'm the director of the Data on Kubernetes community. My company is called Constantia.io. We're the folks who run the community. We get this question a lot. In fact, just, just answered it about three times. What is Constantia? How are you related to DOK? Um, so the community is Constantia, and we run a number of different communities, Data on Kubernetes community, as well as another one called Data Mesh Learning. I'm really excited for the first talk with Intuit because they're kind of melding my two worlds together. So it'll be really interesting to hear them speak. I want to say thank you to event sponsors, EDB and Percona. <laughs> we really appreciate you uh, uh, providing the sponsorship needed to bring everybody here together. Um, and we'll have some virtual talks that we'll be able to show after the event as well. Those assets will be really valuable to our community. A couple of housekeeping things. If you're here, we expect you to abide by the CNCF code of conduct. Um, it's uh, just treat people with kindness and respect as you would. And if you see an incident or have experienced an incident, then reach out to conduct at cncf.io. There is captioning and translations available uh, with this QR code. Might wanna keep your, your phones out because I've got like three, four other QR codes in this talk, um, but it will start when the sessions start. You'll be able to get the captions and translations on your phone. Refreshments and snacks will be found outside the room. I'm still waiting for tea to come out there, but I'm hoping it'll happen soon. And then we'll have lunch that will be um, in the W190 fo foyer, which will be down the stairs and right over there um, at around noon. And then after our event today will be the reception. So if you're not familiar with the data on Kubernetes community, also known as DOK, um, we created this community in 2020 to help people and users connect and share best practices and learning for how to run data workloads on Kubernetes. Back at that time, it was still really nascent. Stateful sets, PBs had just come out. People were trying to figure out how to do this. There weren't really good patterns and practices. So we started this community to help people um, connect with each other and teach each other how to do this well. And in that time, we put out hundreds of videos, shared number of resources, have created a lot of programs, which I'll talk about in a moment. We have 4,200 people on our Slack channel, 7,000 newsletter subscribers, and 2,700 folks on our meetup. I'll talk a little bit about the programs we manage. We have a resource library that will be coming very soon on our new website. I'll show you a sneak peek of that in a moment. Um, and it's gonna catalog the hundreds of videos that we have and with different types of like, is it a database, streaming, AIML, et cetera, so you can easily find some of the resources you're looking for. We host a number of meetups and events on a regular basis, this in-person event at both KubeCons every year, um, virtual meetups on a monthly basis, and our, we have local meetups that we help support. Um, there's some in, I think there's a couple in India, um, one in the Bay Area in the US, one in New York, and there's some in Europe. Um, they kind of happen sporadically. If you're interested in starting one or going to one, information on our website about that. And then of course, peer-to-peer -peer check on our Slack. We have um, people who are there answering questions uh, if you have issues that you're going through when you're starting to deploy. Um, people are, are being generous with answers and their time, so please use that as a resource. We also produce an annual report. Um, past two years, we've done this to understand the kind of state of the data on Kubernetes landscape. We'll be launching our 2023 report right after this event. It'll be a community survey this year, so we'll be sending it out to all of you and would really appreciate your input. Um, we want to understand the challenges and opportunities that we can help with as a community as it relates to the DOK ecosystem. So I think if you know, um, being able to do data on Kubernetes is not just about understanding Kubernetes, it's understanding all the different technologies and solutions that enable you to run data workloads. So we've had a lot of different meetups with, um, with folks from Spark, Kafka, just all kinds of adjacent communities out there that many of you are using to implement data on Kubernetes. 
Uh, and then finally, we have an ambassador program. I'll talk about a little bit of these um, in a moment. So as I mentioned, the virtual meetups is something we do every month. The, in fact, next week, we have the folks from the Apache Unicorn team um, coming to talk, uh, talk to us about big data workloads in multi-tenant environments. This is a question we get asked quite a lot. It's not an easy problem to solve. Um, so if you're interested in understanding how to do this well, virtual meetup next week, it's always recorded. You can always watch it at your leisure. Um, we won't be doing a meetup in December, but we will host an ecosystem day in January. And another question we get asked all the time are, who are the vendors, who are the products and services that we can turn to when we want to run data workloads on Kubernetes? So we're putting together a day of lightning talks with all those people so you can hear how, what they offer, um, just trying to round up as many, as many of these folks as possible so you can come learn about them. Uh, some of the working groups that we host include the DOK Operator SIG. Um, these folks develop projects related to Kubernetes operators for managing workload, data workloads. We try to understand what are the gaps in knowledge that people have and how can we help fill it. So the main project that we're working on right now is this operator security hardening guide. In last year's data on Kubernetes report, we asked what were the criteria by which people evaluate operators to adopt the number one criteria was security. So this year we said, how can we help people understand the security risks for operators um, and understand how to harden their uh, operators? So this guide should be out um, pretty soon after KubeCon, and we'll be talking about it this Thursday in a panel with some members of our DOK SIG. Um, it's Thursday at two, and I'll put the um, information for that up at the end of the day. Uh, this. Uh, SIG meets bi-weekly. The next meeting is the 21st of November. Um, and if you want to learn about it, join the Data on Kubernetes Slack and look at the SIG operator channel. And there's an agenda in there. You can kind of see all the past notes and projects that we've been working on. I'm very happy to announce our, our very first Data on Kubernetes ambassadors. We have uh, 15 of them. I see some of them here in the room. Um, if you're here, will you raise your hand? I know Gabriele is here. Do we have Alex? I know a few others. Robert was going to be here. All right, well, there's Gabriele. So everyone can ask Gabriele a question because he's here. <laughs> um, but they're, they're truly here to help orient you to the community, understand what the community is working on, and help you answer get answers to your questions about data and Kubernetes. Um, and you get to see the sneak peek of our, our website that will be launched um, again after KubeCon. We were hoping to get it done, it just too many things, couldn't get it done in time, but we will have it launched afterwards. One of the key new features will be the resource library where you can see all the, um, the, uh, the tutorials and use cases and case studies available to you that we've been collecting over the years. And then we will be adding a discourse forum as well. So all the great Q&A that happens on Slack just disappears after 90 days, um, unless you pay Slack their hefty fee. Uh, and so we want to move to discourse so we can actually preserve a lot of those questions and answers so you all can use that as an ongoing resource moving forward. Um, and I want to mention the DOK Day, we will be in Paris um, as well. The CFP for that is open now, so if you're interested in submitting a talk, it is due on December the 3rd. And the community in general is sponsored by a number of great folks um, who help us enable to put all the programs on that I just mentioned. Um, so thank you to Google Cloud and Percona for being gold sponsors of the Data on Kubernetes community. And we also have a range of different silver sponsors as well. These are your QR codes again. I've just thrown so many at you for how to join the community, how to become a sponsor. Um, it'll take you right there. I'll leave it up for a second. I see people taking snapshots. And I just wanna go through, here's the agenda for the day. If you haven't seen this already, we've got some really fantastic talks for you. Um, starting off with the folks at Intuit, merging two of the worlds that I'm, I'm really interested in, data on Kubernetes and data mesh. Um, we've got a morning break at 11.50, lunch about 12.25, which I mentioned was down there. Another afternoon break. I'll give a closing talk and then we'll go to the reception. So if you have any questions about anything, come find me or find Gabriele throughout the day and I hope you enjoy the okay day. <laughs>